Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? Gridlock traffic. That's where we are. That's quite a nice car, isn't it? It's a Q7 in blue. It's so much better in black. Why do people buy cars that are not black? That's what I don't understand. Well, it's your own personal car. I understand some people do like white cars as well. And blue. I like blue cars. Would I buy one? I don't know. Might buy a blue Rolls Royce. Maybe. My superstar, Miss Anastar, the greatest old I'm not stopping. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. There we go. Miss Andrea, especially for you. Mr. Neil, hopefully that's tickled you. Miss Ali, give him a quick slap. I went straight through a red light. And hey, it doesn't matter. I'm in Cyprus. It really, really doesn't matter. Luckily for me, I know for Donis, I know the chief of police. I know one or two other police officers. And then he said, hey, it's all right. Don't worry. No traffic. Didn't cause any harm. Have a little drink on your coffee. Don't worry about it. Chill. There we are. We're heading down to downtown Kedapapos, that's where we're going. We're going to the harbour and uh, hopefully you're going to get a great view out across the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. It's a spectacality of a day, there's no doubt about that. The temperature, if you're curious to know, perhaps if your name is Mr. Dawn, you've got a husband called Mr. Sean, a little dog called Bobo. It's not that little actually, he's a very proud dog as well, and he's a very, very clever dog. We'll let these people go because that's what it's all about, being Curtis, isn't it? See, they're not even tourists, and they're probably not even subscribers, you know what I mean? So I should have run them over, but I'm not that kind of person. I like to be Curtis on the roads, especially to pedestrians, because for some reason they are often more stupid than the people in the cars. Right, let's keep going. Downtown Kedapapas Harbour, that's where we're going. Uh, I've lost my train of thought, although I do that all the time, especially as I'm getting older. And on top of all that, I am an idiot in a blue hat, with a pair of sunglasses. But of course you know that, because you watched me get in and out of a car in yesterday's video. Luckily, I'm not too fat. Don't make me look fat on camera, that's what I always say. Thank you very much. There we go. Right. And I'm in blue. Did you notice I was in blue? Yes? It's true. It's not true. It's not a, it's not a myth. I am a man all dressed head to toe in blue. Blue hat, but black sunglasses. Right. Blue t-shirts? Yes. Blue jeans? Yes. Black belt? All right. Fine. There's little mistakes now and again. Blue boxer shorts? No, they're actually black today. Blue socks? No, they're actually dark grey. But the shoes are blue. They are blue. And they've got white soles. So there you go. There's a bit of a variation now and again in the blues. Let's keep going. Paphos Mall is on the right hand side. This is the Paphos Mall roundabout. And the strange structure over yonder, there, as you can see, which looks a bit rusty, and that's all part of its appeal and all part of its charm. That's the Paphos Skywalk. It's not quite up in the sky, is it? But it's about six metres. So, if you're in Papos, why not go for a walk along it? It gives you a totally different perspective, different view towards the old town, and a different view all the way back down to the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And it's worth it. And at the moment, it's free. Did you hear me? Free. But there is a little rumour. The number one, Gumbaru, Mr. Vadonis, that's the mayor, is planning on a little bit of theft. He's planning on putting some turnstiles in here and in there then charging you probably 250 each. So hey, I'd go and do it now. It's free. Think of that. If there's two of you, that's five euros. What could you do with that? Well, I'll tell you what. You could click through to our about page where you can consider to buy us a coffee or two. On the little buy me a coffee platform, totally safe, totally secure. Hook up your plastic friend and send us a virtual coffee as a thank you, as a salute, as a motivation to keep us going. Perhaps if you want a special, special video for you, a birthday treat, an anniversary surprise, or perhaps you want me to call your cat in, who knows, but you can do it. And uh, one or two coffees and that video will be coming especially for you. You can also choose to join us as a superstar member. The latest superstars, well, guess what? Arise, Sir Philip, arise, Lady Sherry, all the way in downtown. Wait for it, wait for it. Is it Somerset? Is it Coventry? Uh, no, it's Cornwall. All the way from downtown Cornwall. Thank you, thank you very much for becoming one of our superstar members. 10 euros a month automatically will come to us. And of course, we'll mention you more and more every single time. And uh, thank you from the bottom of our two hearts. We really, really do indeed. So that's how the channel is kept afloat. There's also the super thanks button on YouTube itself where the thumbs up, thumbs down are. You can scroll across and you will find the little heart shaped button with a red dollar sign. And that is, well, the thanks button. That's what it is. Send us a dollar or two and we'll say thank you, thank you, especially to you. Now, you may have noticed there is a man on his knees there. Look at that. 
There's a little bit of the old concreting going on. You see it? They are. These guys are working hard in this heat. And, uh, you know, they are working very, very hard to make sure that the Paphos Harbour and Promenade area comes back much better than before. As you can see in there, all of the floor surfacing has now been completed, which is good. And they're working on the final stretch. There's the bus drop-off there, as you can see. That's all new. Not functionality yet, but uh, it will be soon, so they say. There's a man with an ice cream. That's a disabled parking, but don't worry, we're only turning around to go back to give you an even better view of the men that are working very, very hard to make sure that Paphos Harbour is going to be absolutely spectacular for you when you come out next time. And uh, it's going to be a great place, Paphos Harbour. You know, you may not realise it's changed quite so much because, of course, to us, we come here every single day and if you're watching the videos, you don't notice it so much. But if you've not been here since, say, January last year and you come this year, I'm telling you, the change is absolutely huge and it's a change for the better. They're all little things, but I'm telling you, it's much, much better from the street lighting to the surface that you're walking on to the slight reorganization of the restaurants. All of these things have made a huge difference and Paphos is much, much better. And it really, really is. I'm not just saying that. It really is much better. We're on the final stretch here, as you can see. When they get to the wood kiosk, which is this here, so if your name is Sir Derek Scully, that's where you'll be popping in for one of those Romeo and Juliet cigars. And then you can go and do some Romeo and Julieting while you have a coffee. Sorry, while you have some whiskey with a little bit of coffee in it. Because, you know, that's how it works, isn't it? Legend, superstar. Sir Derek Scully. He's coming to Paphos with his auction receiver out of the booth in around about four weeks. So his auction receiver booth keeps telling him. So we're very, very lucky. We're going to get to meet Sir Derek Scully and, of course, his auction receiver the booth. There we go. I wonder if she's as, uh, what's the word, difficult as mine, you know, with the spending, I mean. And I'm sure she's beautiful, I'm sure of that. Can't be bothered, we'll run him over. He's not a subscriber. And uh, he left it a bit late. And he looked a bit grumpy, didn't he? That guy crossing on the zebra crossing. Anyway, on the zebra crossing in downtown Paphos, please, 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 do not just think that you can walk out because you can't. Uh, you'll get run over. So take great care. Please, please. There might be a man in an S class who just, well, having a bad mood. So, uh, you know, has had a slurp on his coffee since he's bought it. Anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to keep going up this road. This is the estate, estate agent's road, by the way, if you don't watch the videos. And uh, if you're looking to buy a house or apartment, this probably would be the road for you. Because there's more than little buggers selling properties to you on here than anywhere else. But uh, please be aware of them. Please be careful of them. Because as you do know, you know, in, in England and in Poland, these people are, well, slippery, slimy little people, aren't they? But in Paphos, they're very slippy. Oh, my goodness. Slippy, slippy, slippy. Slimy, slimy, slimy. They definitely are. They could have got a part in Greece, the movie, no problem. So, be warned, if you want to buy a property in downtown Paphos, make sure you get a very, very independent lawyer and make sure he or she does their job and uh, you'll be doing right. If you want a very good lawyer, by the way, the best lawyer in the world, our lawyer, Marika and me's lawyer, you've got to go to Krakow in Poland and say, hello, Miss Anna, my super, superstar. And a good morning to you, Anna, and a good morning to your husband, Mr. Tomas, and a good morning to your son and our great, great friend, Mr. Bart. How are you doing? You all right? Have you had a good weekend? Hope so. We really, really hope so. Have you been off eating in some Georgian restaurants, gallivanting up in the mountains? I bet you have. How's the Lexus doing? And how's the other Lexus doing? Because they've got two Lexuses. Yes, that's right, they've got two. And they're thinking about changing them to buy Mercedes. I don't know. If I was you... Well, if I was you, I'd buy a Mercedes, but if I was clever, I'd stick with a Lexus because they're the most reliable cars in the world. They're like yourself, the best. You understand me? You're the best lawyer in the world. Lexus, well, they're the best, the most reliable cars in the world. But obviously, the choice is yours. If you do buy one, uh, I think you've got a blue one, haven't you? I think you have. Next time, buy a black one. Simple as that. This is Tomb of the King's Road, by the way. And I think I'm going to take a left here and go and see what's going on at the Faros Beach, Lighthouse Beach. Do you remember a week ago or so, we went down and they were doing bits and bobs in the car park. Should we go and have a look and see if it's finished? I wouldn't I wouldn't hold your breath, but let's go and have a look. You never know. Just over there, we've got there, King's Hotel. That's the same people who own the King's Restaurant, by the way. So that's Miss Naya. You saw her on camera 
last week, if you remember. Beautiful lady with dark hair. Well, that's Mr. Harris's wife. So she's the queen, basically, isn't it? And she runs that little hotel over there. And then that's across the road to the Capalius Damon Hotel, if you're wondering where that is. So quite conveniently located if you want to go out to eat, isn't it? Because there's a lot of restaurants on here. And of course, it's only about 15 minute walk maximum to the Paphos Harbour and Promenade area. So not a bad place. Anyway, let's get down here and let's go and find Faros Beach. And let's see what's going. And uh, if you want the Cephalius Tourist Resort, by the way, the name is uh, Cali and Mali. Well, that's over there, isn't it? You know, it's not far, is it? And Sean O'Keefe, he likes that place as well. Quite, I mean, quite a lot of people like it, don't they? And it's got a great, great situation right on the cusp of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And again, they've been improving all the walkways to the rear of the Cephalius Tourist Village. And it uh, looks very, very nice indeed. Once the temperature goes down, you know, you know what I mean? Because it's very, very hot out there. Once that temperature goes down, myself and Miss Ochin can see the other booth. We'll be going out and having a look and making some little videos especially for you. Showing you the improvements that are going on in and around Paphos as they progress. Here we go. Some guy doing a bit of cement in here. This guy's renovating a villa. You see, a lot of things going on in Paphos. Multi-million euro villa. Well, it's not multi-million, but it's a couple of million because of where it is. Because property prices in Paphos are very, very expensive. It's quite scary. Now, I understand if you're coming from New York or London. Oh, my goodness. There you go. See? You can't even get through. Because if you look very, very carefully, they are paving it all. See? Look at that. Can you see that now? I'll stop and let you look. And they're on the final stretch of the paving. And they put new walls in, new structures. There's new walkway paths. There are some new sun-shading huts. And they are now doing the final bit of paving to the car parking area. So that's going to look very, very nice because it was just a scruffy, scruffy, and I mean scruffy piece of uh, land with potholes from hell. I mean potholes that could eat a Mercedes S-Class in one gulp. And I'm serious. So that's a massive, massive improvement. Got a lot of people, you know, they make videos about Paphos and they, they walk around, whether they live here or whether they don't. This is a rant now, by the way. And they criticise the place and the negative people, and you know, you wonder why bother? You know, why bother? Why would you want to make a negative video on a tourist town when people have booked a holiday to come here and they're looking to have fun and games and joy, and then they go and watch one of your pieces of Sherlock Holmes that tells them oh, it's a dump? And it's not true, it's not true. There's many parts of the world far, 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 far worse than Paphos, and many of them call themselves tourist resorts. So, next time you go out and make a video and you start to criticise the area, perhaps have some consideration for the people who have already booked their holidays and the people who are excited to be coming to Paphos, and then you put a bit of a dampener on them. Paphos is a spectacular place. It's got a blue-blue sky. It's got a blue-blue, blue-blue Mediterranean Sea. Mr. Paul's dress heads are so blue. I had to put that bit in. All that's missing is you. There's many videos on about Paphos. Most of the videos are all positive, and one or two are not. But uh, what I would say is, well, look at the presenters. That's what I would say. Most of the time, they don't even show their faces. That tells you a lot. They're talking a load of Sherlock Holmes. There we are, Cephalius Tourist Resort on the left-hand side. Great resort that sits on the cusp of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And if you really, really want to go up market in the world, well, there it is, right in front of us, possibly one of the best hotels in the whole of Cyprus, not just Paphos. That is the luxury five-star hotel, and it's got a name to match. It's called the Elysium. There we go. And uh, one or two people we've had the, well, the luck to meet are staying there, and they all say what a fantastic hotel it is. Indeed. And I'll tell you a little story. A long, 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 long time ago, 15 years ago now, when I first arrived, that hotel was just completed. And uh, I had the great honour and pleasure to meet one of the owners. And he was an English gentleman, he was one of the developers. And he just bought himself a brand new BMW X6. That's when they were brand new, the first X6 BMW. And uh, he got a little chip on it. He was very, very upset. So he phoned us up, we went to have a look at it. And uh, we agreed to do the job. And I said to him, where can we do it? He said, in the car park down below. I said, fine. 
I said, will you get them to cordon off a little place? He said, yeah, I will. When we got there, I tell you, it was like a football pitch that was cordoned off and there was floodlights and we were served tea and coffee and cakes and biscuits for all the time that we were there. Great, great guy, he really was. And he was very, very happy with his job. We charged him, if I remember right, 250 euros. It took a long, long time ago. And uh, he was so happy and such a nice chap. And this is the truth. He gave us 250 euros and then he said, that's for you. And that was another 250 euros on a tip. What a star. Of course, he was gonna stick that onto your bill. Back on Tomb of the Kings Avenue. We're gonna to come to the Tomb of the Kings roundabout. We can turn into there and go and watch. Well, watch what? The Tomb of the Kings. Because that's where a legend goes that the kings of Paphos were buried. Not quite true. It's some of the dignitaries, perhaps, but not kings. And uh, they're buried there, allegedly. And there's some mosaics and some columns and all those kind of things. There you go. Tomb of the Kings. It's where you go in over there, the turnstile. Oh, sorry, that's how you come out. You walk up to the little office. You cross that palm with two euros fifty. And you get to do a bit of a mosey on now. Massive place. You can spend all day in there. You can even sunbathe go for a dip in the blue 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 mediterranean sea i'm going to say thanks for watching if you like what you see as we tour the car park see plenty of parking today because it's quite early all that's missing is you why not come and see us on that big bird all that can do I promise you paphos is a spectacularity of the place and uh, we're all waiting for you thanks for watching and of course we'll see you again very very soon indeed